we are all brothers and sisters. I imagine that every person on earth has been affected in some way by the destructive spirit of contention, resentment, and revenge. The spirit of envy and hatred has led to some of the most tragic stories in history. Perhaps there are even times when we recognize this spirit in ourselves. We are not perfect. The people around us are not perfect. Jess! Jess, come on! Mom needs a car! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> People do things that annoy, disappoint, and anger. Though we cannot look into another's heart, we assume that we know a bad motive or even a bad person when we see one. This topic of judging others could actually be taught in a two-word sermon. When it comes to hating, gossiping, ignoring, ridiculing, holding grudges, or wanting to cause harm, please apply the following. Stop it. Jessica! Hey, why didn't you call me? <laughs> Such a loser. Hey, hurry up! Get in the car! Where were you? Activity tonight at the old folks home in like 30 minutes. Me and my friends are gonna go if you want to come. Mom, we're home. Hey kids, just leave the keys on the counter. I'll be down in just a second. Have fun at your activity. All right, well, I'm gonna start walking. Are you coming? No, I've got homework. All right, well, don't drink all the juice. Get there before the day is done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right. First now, you say I'm gonna say go. Uh, whatever, okay. he's going anyway. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> no, he doesn't get to take it. Love what? Drama? What? You cheating? You got a wild card on this. This is why you want to be sweet. This is why you want to be sweet. Are you kidding me, Dad? This is why you want to be sweet. That's his secret. Next time. Are you going to your room? Okay. All right. See you, Dad. Hey, are you the one that made that picture of Melissa? <laughs> what picture? You made her cry in biology today. Look, um, I was just joking around, so people need to stop taking things so seriously. Jessica? Thanks for drinking all the juice! Jess!
Hey. You okay? I, uh... I looked at your phone. Who wrote that? Who cares? They're right. Oh no, Jess. Here. No, they're not. They don't know who you really are. I mean... Jess, they're just kidding around. You are just like them. Especially at school. Haven't we all, at one time or another, meekly approached the mercy seat and pleaded for grace? Haven't we wished with all the energy of our souls for mercy to be forgiven for the mistakes we have made and the sins we have committed? Forgiving ourselves and others is not easy. In fact, for most of us, it requires a major change in our attitude and way of thinking, even a change of heart. Consider the following questions as a self-test. Do you harbor grudge against someone else? Do you gossip? even when what you say may be true? Do you exclude, push away, or punish others because of something they have done? Do you secretly envy another? Do you wish to cause harm to someone? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you may want to apply the two-word sermon from earlier. Stop it. There's enough heartache and sorrow in this life without our adding to it through our own stubbornness, bitterness, and resentment. This mighty change of heart is exactly what the gospel of Jesus Christ is designed to I bring about. To say, I'm truly, truly sorry. Let us be kind. Let us forgive. Let us talk peacefully with each other. Let us do good unto all men. Allowing us to see others the way our Heavenly Father sees us as flawed and imperfect mortals who have potential and worth far beyond our capacity to imagine. Because God loves us so much, we too must love and forgive. Remember, in the end, it is the merciful who obtain mercy.